Hello and welcome back, this is part 6 of the Sinai campaign and we have made incredible progress in the last episode. The south of the map is now completely secure, our one border to our east, which is Liu Bei in the south, is our ally, we have no threat coming from that part of the map. We are now almost entirely up against Ganning. Ganning's faction, which has amalg amalgamated a few of the other minor factions throughout the past four episodes, is now this little block in Northern Jing, hodgepodge mixture of officers including Huang Chong and Zhu Guliong. However, we do also have Jiang Ren to our west, and I want to talk about what options that opens up for us. So, with all of our troops more or less concentrated in Jianling, we are in a position where we can attack any city we want and outnumber them two to one. And as shown in the last video, we are now able to carry out the surround and conquer maneuver, where you um, effectively take over all the surrounding areas of a city if you can sort of pincer them between two you control. I'm not entirely sure how the game calculates when it works, but sometimes it does. And in Yongan, attacking from Jianling, it is one of those cities where it's very easy to surround and conquer it. Effectively, if we take this area, this area, this area, and this area here, it will enact a surround and conquer, and Yongan will be entirely isolated of its neighbouring areas, which will flip to our faction. And being on extreme difficulty, if we take all of those areas, it completely nullifies the AI's stat buffs. And there's a, there's a little expeditionary force here, which we can clean up. So, we are quite easily able to take out Chang Ren, I believe, and Chang Ren himself, even though there aren't, I think, too many useful officers in this faction, is an officer that has Steel General, which acts as a defensive multiplier. Overall, fantastic to have. I don't think there's anyone else here we really need to make use of. I've never, ever, ever used Huang Chan. Huang Chan? Oh, he is, um, he is a confidant of Simi Yi, I suppose. So, you never know. High leadership stat, goose formation, stick him in the back line, further complimentary officer. Potential. But either way, Chang Ren would be the goal. But not only acquiring his officers is the point of starting off this video with this discussion. We could effectively secure our western border by allying with Her Jin. So if, if we have a quick look at this di um, diplom uh, diplomacy situation we have a what's considered a normal relationship with him so if I were to send hmm, who's nearby and fairly political Sima Fu with 6,000 gold the AI is telling me it'll end in failure it won't this will boost our relationship to Trusted. And even though Her Jin only has one city and he's likely to fall at some point, it will allow us some breathing room to really concentrate on taking out Ganning. Because Ganning is in the middle of um, the middle of the south and southern part of the map, um, sort of northern Jin. Not to confuse things by throwing in every sort of geogra geographical indicator there. But Ganning is pincered between Zhenyu, between Liu Bei between Menghuo, even between Sun Quan. So he has no capability of um, reinforcing these cities. These troops he has are the troops he has. He's not going to really be building too many more. So I would like to take out Ganning, or at least force him to merge with somebody while he's weak. So the plan is, I am going to, first of all, wipe out this army and attack Yongan. While I do that, I am going to simultaneously, as we have a foothold in Xianyang, deploy a second army for Xianyang. While I do that in Changsha, I now have two water warlord officers. They are Wu Yan and Lu Dai. And they are both, no, not you, definitely not competent Liu Jiang. These two are fairly decent. They haven't really got any unique traits of the water warlord that help but they are what they are water warlord and we now as highlighted in the end of the last video have a naval superiority so if I can fight a naval battle somewhere along here in Bachi 
I'll have overwhelming supremacy. So if Ganning decides to try and attack Changsha, you'll probably do so through through the uh, naval part of the map. I'll have the I'll have the water warlord officers try to sort of contest them. Ideally, not in this port there where I'm. Unless I suppose. Okay, I'm also going to do something slightly silly. Have I got any mountain warlords still left behind there? No, I do not. Okay, well, either way, I am going to secure this area, which will hopefully mean if I have to fight in the port, or around the surrounding areas of the port, will be free for free in terms of supporting areas. Either way, I haven't got any orders left for this turn, so I am going to skip to the next turn and deploy an army to take out uh, this invading force of Jang Rens. And this is just our attempt that we sent off at the end of the last video to renew our alliance with Liu Bei. We intend to keep that alliance for the rest of the campaign. So these guys, in theory, are going for ruling, but in practice they aren't going to get anywhere near it. So I think I am going to use the Wei army to fight this off for now. So this is the Wei army. Is. So they're just going to fight a simple back to front battle, one we should be quite capable of handling. So that is, it's only a small force, but I'm not being attacked by threatening enemies. And I'll send a wife out, Bu Lianxi, to act as support. I'm going to make sure the water warlords are where they need to be, including Wu Dai. I have here... Deng Ai, Hao Chao, Yang Liang, Wen Chao, Chen Tai, they simply are serving no purpose. Oh, see my Cho. Serving no purpose here. She. If she had goose formation, that is Sima Shu's wife, she'd be seeing some use, but she doesn't, so she's not going to. I do. Oh, no. I say, I do want to make sure. This area is an overseer as it belongs to this city for some reason, so Chen Chen can be. Um, I think Chen Chen can remain here to take over that area. And with my remaining troops, see me, see me sure. Order. Uh, I quite like having Gia to be honest for the obliteration of morale. So I am just going to send this army here. It's quite a difficult um, area to fight on, but not impossible. And when Deng Ai arrives, I'll probably send him over in snake formation to take uh, Xi'an Shan and the port. And once again, completely out of orders. There go our two armies. Zhang Ren is in retreat. Oh, Yang Hu has died. And Zhang Lu has... Well, there we are, there's Her Jin. Trusted. So Zhang Yang Hu has died, it means he's probably fighting a battle there. 
Ah, that's unlucky. Another one of our Jin officers we're not going to be able to use in this campaign. But his faction, even with all of those officers, 68 of them aren't going to last very long. So, how are we looking here? If I can bait them into attacking in my territory, it might even work out a little bit better. Perhaps, a, perhaps greedy, but I'm going to see if... So I want you there. You can stay here. And you can move back. They may, they may choose to do it. Not entirely certain. I oh, also mustn't forget. Point three overseers. I've moved some troops around here, so we're pointing the overseers. I got no gold here, so I won't be recruiting here. Not really any gold here. Not really any gold here. You can see the situ the difficulties we ran into with gold. Some gold here, so that will keep recruiting. Mm, not enough gold there. Not enough gold there. Very rough circumstances, all in all. We have gold in Jian Ling, but that's going to be spent on our alliances. Other than that, these cities, as of right now, maybe this will change next month, haven't got the gold we need in order to recruit. So we, even though we've got plenty of troops, we don't really want to throw them away. Okay, they're taking the bait, it looks like. Are they taking the bait? Coming to the forest? Yes, they are. So they're going to be substantially weaker if they move one tile forward. Oh, doesn't look like they will. Okay. The pop-up there saying there's nothing happening means the AI are going to be retreating. So we'll just have to make them fight us. One of them's reckless. Nope. Okay. Well, aside from that then... Dang I. Well, you've got 7,000 troops. How about you take the port? I mean, what I can do here as well, I can build a single wall tile there. You can build a wall tile there. And you can build a wall tile there. And what this should do is prevent the enemy from flanking me and they'll have to attack us head on. Other than that, no sign of Ganning taking the bait here. I'll skip a lot of, a lot of this out in the near future. This is just the starting steps. Hopefully we'll get a battle here. Where we, as you can see, we are simply far stronger unit for unit than their units because of the confidant links, the area we're fighting on. Hmm. I should probably use someone to get that morale up. Go on, shout, why not? Okay, we've got a duel of sorts going on here. Sao Chen versus. Oh, pretty even. And we win. Brilliant. How soon before they set me on fire? There's our alliance of her Jin. Come on, we're taking one damage there and we're doing a thousand a turn. Oh, Salpi, you've walked into melee range. That's very silly of you. Along with me, who told him to move there. 
Oh well, let's not be the sort to cast flame. Make sure we position properly. Um, yeah, so you move there, you move there. 2000 defense or 2200, not bad at all. We're going to take some casualties from South E here. And one guy is on the march. He is, of course, going to be the sort of officer that will set us on fire, but there's not really too much we can do about it. I do think we have another SEMA family member here who is, yes, ready to go. So I'll move you across. And Chai Sang is now quite heavily fortified, so they may choose to attack Chai Anling and we'll get a chance to test this theory about our naval superiority. Oh, they're retreating. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. It makes my siege a little bit more difficult. But there we are. One guy marches in. He sets fire to Sima Yi because, of course, why would he not? Why would he not? So Sima Yi's going to take a huge amount of damage from this fire attack. But... Okay, I'll get that. Oh, I don't really need you for the siege, I'll get that in retreat. And how about... Well, we're just going to move on. If he's not going to attack us, we'll bring the fight to him. And there he goes, he's locked down. And he's captured. Not that he's much use for to us, Hoang Guy. And the AI is telling me, okay, here we go, here we go. So first of all, we need to make sure that these guys have their ranks. Wu Dai. So Wu Yan. Maximum troops um, I can't actually choose which of these two unfortunately So we're gonna head out to meet them Jiang Wei and Ganning and Shaho Ba so uh, some of Jubil Young's starting officers, led by Ganning himself. Okay, a little bit of calm. My envoy has been received. And plague and ruling, exactly what we don't need. This is manageable. That not so much, so you need to get back to raising morale. You have now a good amount of gold, so we can get back to recruiting. And how about you? Have we got the spare officers? No, surprisingly not. Well, maybe we do. So Yan Liang, Wen Chao, and whoever's not appointed. There we go. So it's looking like Ganning is going to re let me, I'll take the gold, let me surround Xi'an Yang. I only need to take that, that, and then that. So Deng Ai can go on his way. He's got um, dash and vantage ground, so he's particularly quick at moving, and sojourner, so he won't um, get, well, confused. No, he will. 
Um, I don't think his morale gets hit affected as badly when his um, supplies are cut off. And I think for our... Yeah, we do still have level 7 fish, so it's not terrible. So I want to make sure we do this properly so the fish guys, they can attack the tower. You stay just out of range. As do you two. And Ganning, he's, he's made very swift progress, admittedly. Hmm, you can see here, we're not actually... No, no, we are, we are, we are stronger, but not, like, substantially so. So let's try it. There you go. Oh, don't go on to land. And I think we're going to get Jiang Wei cut off, at least. So all we do now is move into range and hit him as hard as we can. There was a fire trap there, because why would there not be a fire trap there? At least it's only these two. I may need to retreat and redeploy before the final assault, but we will see about that. Maybe, maybe not. And I should probably just move these troops up ahead. And Ganning's going to give us some gold, which we need. Thank you very much, Ganning. Now, if you guys can move quickly, you should move quicker. You have water warlords and superior boats. However, Jiang Wei is superior on land, so maybe I let him come back into the water. Do I have... We know how this goes, we've done this before. Ah, uh, we've done this before, but you know what, we are going to do this again. Yan Liang and Wen Chao, go unleash havoc, mostly on yourselves from what usually happens. But unleash havoc nonetheless. Just making sure we have the best people overseeing the best areas. And we're nearly there. Move up one. Let's see if we can bait Hong Wang Fu Kai to come out and attack us. We never know. Still slowly making progress here. Such is um, such is the struggle when attacking through this path. Okay. Ooh, Ganning's tactics do do more damage because he's stronger. So the plan, if I can call it that, one of them will sit there, one of them will sit there, and these two will just, hmm, not really take a battle, but it looks like we're going to win, so have we got anyone else? Helmsman? No, okay, that's that's what we have, that's what we'll use to win. We'll find a way. And there we are. Brilliant. So, there's the surround and conquer we need. The AI may choose to deploy against Deng Ai as it likes to do that, but let's see. Ganning wants more of his officers back. I'll take the gold. There we are, this will help. And this makes our area development a little bit more powerful. It's not massively relevant at this point in the game. Would have been very helpful early on, but there goes Giant Wei. And we've captured him. 
He'd be a good officer to actually recruit if possible, because he does have. Come on, let's open up. And this is, well, of course, the trade. This will pop up here. No, I did have um, special envoy. So this is all, all but one already. We're just going to try and capture as many officers as we can. Two more turns until Deng Ai gets this surround and conquer off. Make sure we have someone there. And they are taking a very sweet time make, moving or making their way up into the mountains. And I think my ally Her Jin is losing, but he's losing valiantly. And that will help somewhat. He actually took out all the arrow towers. That will help me not just a little bit, but a huge amount as it happens. Okay. There we are. They that did a huge amount of damage, unfortunately. One down. So we have taken casualties. Oh, don't let him escape. I think something's going right. I think this will be our promotion to Grand General. Yes. Okay, well, Ganning's gonna escape, but... I wonder if these guys have... Yes, Jiang Wei there. Loyalty 91. I think we might be able to recruit him. So I just need to make sure. And I'll tell you what. <sighs> fire trap, fire trap, fire trap. Ha ha ha. <clears throat> Deng, I can join this siege. And while we're at it, let's get a. I liked how the, how well the ram worked last time, so let's get a ram to join the battle. No, oh, I don't need Beijing. I was completely mistaken. Okay, so all we need is Guiling, and we have got the surround and conquer. Okay, so a, a battle here with Zhang Ren. Very, very scary Zhang Ren, but one we can win regardless. As for this army now, I don't see any downside to just building us a fort. And then attacking the city. He's not getting out of that. Absolutely under no circumstances, unless you give us this very nice sword. Am I giving you giant way back? It'd be very nice if you'd retreat, please. So, job well done, everyone. Need to get this area built back up. Well, and that area as it happens. Now that'll be affected by the surround and conquer, I reckon. So, let's just do it this way. So in one more turn, we'll be ready to go. The fort will be constructed, and we'll just launch a very straightforward attack on the city with these... Well, five surrounding areas here. Max strength Sima Yi. They will not stand a chance. Okay, Chang Ren's coming. Is he retreating into the city or is he going to face us? Nope. So we will have an opportunity to. Oh, in fact, we'd be 
quite good if you could get up onto the mountain there, but I don't want them. I don't want them going for a full deployment just yet. Taking it slow, but... Oh wow, dang eyes morale's terrible. Okay, you you can get back into the city. Okay, I don't know what that's about, but it's not gonna save his city. So everyone is just going to move forward in position. Okay, here it comes. Battle the city. They are gonna try and fight us. Ooh. Fire arrows. My favourites. But this city isn't going to last too long, even if it is a large city. Maybe get out the fire for now. No, yeah, we are... We are okay. I could send a small siege weapon over, but I don't think it'll be needed. Just take it slow. I'm setting a district up here in Sevenjing so they can carry out searches each turn without needing to evolve me we've got these cities under our direct control as they're the only ones that might be at risk of a battle but, and we've got plenty of gold so the AI will now do the logistics between them hopefully shifting over the food and troops to where I need it we're in a very very comfortable position it looks like Okay. Jiang Wei, 91 loyalty. He's not going to betray his sword just yet. We'll see if that changes. Uh -huh. And that's what we needed. Oh no, the city hasn't been confused. I wonder who's in there that stopped that. Oh well. Xin Yi has survived just about, but that again will be a matter of time. Chai Sang has... well, we've seen what happens to Chai Sang's troops, that was our last battle. And Chang Sha is very healthy, Wu Ling very helpful, Chai healthy. Maybe I should send some more troops over. I think that might be for the best. I'm actually a little... I'm not, seeing what's, not paying attention to what's happening over in Jianyang. Come on, you've, you've got Mountain Warlord. Come on, come on, make it one more tile, one more tile. Brilliant. So you can just... Well, well what tactic have you got? Surprise, attack and rally. I suppose just slowly. Help these units win. Make sure we're all in appropriate situ positions. Yes, all looking perfect. The ram is looking very exposed. I am quite concerned at this point that because there's 25,000 troops in situ. The AI may decide to deploy, but we'll just have to see if that happens. If I can get to Guiling, then doesn't matter if they deploy. Here we are. City is slowly falling. Confused. In fact, why don't I have Deng Ai join in? Just to make sure the siege weapon is not in any danger at all. Okay, talking about danger. 
So go o Hawaii, if you can perhaps get on these mountains, so here you get out of range of those of the front line and the wife just sits there. No, I want you to be on the low mountains and I want you to go for Gwiling as you have the most defence and you'll be able to hold out the longest. There's the city falling. And we got Jiang Wei. Brilliant. I'll discuss Jiang Wei in a second. Okay. Okay, this is scary. Halfway to max relations with um Don't know who Tian Chu is supposed to be historically, what foreign nation. Come on, you need to get there. As these guys are not going to hold out much longer. Oof. Ah, maybe. Maybe Deng Ai can get there in time. So, Jai Ang Wei, an officer I've never used on this channel ever, I think. Let's talk about what he has going for him. High leadership, high strength, high intelligence. He has great combat stats in every capacity. He has reorganized military level 5, brilliant, fish formation, arrow formation, snake formation, perfect, courageous, so he has a scaler for operating at 3000 troops or less, cunning, which reduces the defense of enemy units, and a unique tactic that lowers the assault of enemy units, so he's um, a very good officer, um, isn't affected by um, false information, but you rarely see that. Can build stone sentinel maze uh, buildings, comes into um, some use occasionally. And in ter terms of his confidants, no one we we really have though if we conquer or capture Shahobu, Shahoba or Zhuge Liang, sadly we'll have Zhang Hui. He can find some use there, but overall he's an officer. If we wanted to use him, we would just need to make some confidants for him. As for Yong An. I need two turns, maybe. Hmm. This is going to be scary. Maybe Deng Ai can get there in time. So there's Xi'an Yang about to fall. And then, talking about, about to fall. Oh! Guo Huai's not going to last. But can you get there? One more turn. And that's who have I captured in Xi'an Yang. Nobody. <laughs> Alright. I can trade them for gold. Okay. This is not looking good. So if you can try and move back one, maybe you can, probably not. If you can move back one, if you can capture Guling and then rejoin the fight. And then I, you move over here, you are going to need to try and save this battle. Unless he can get his tactic off and get the defence buff, I cannot see this working. These units are really strong at the moment. But they won't be the moment that's captured. And we're going to do something reckless, I'm going to send Hao Chao alone to attack the city with his siege weapon, see if it helps. Probably going to need to summon some spare officers now as well, so let's have a look who we got. That'll do. Okay, here comes Deng Ai. I did need that, but it's not going to help. Really? Ah, and the fire attack, alright. There we are, of course. Oh, gold is always good. And he's cut off. And a duel between Jufu and Sao Pi. Oh well. Unlucky. And here we go, there is the game-changing event. 
So he's no longer cut off, and in fact, by baiting them in, these now significantly weaker units are up against the very mighty Deng Ai. Going to, you're going to make short work of that city. Deng Ai's just going to clean up here. Those units won't be able to last against him. And I am quite happy with that result. With those units cut off, that effectively all but eliminates the city. I also notice we have a huge amount of gold. I could be mistaken, but that looks... Gold up. There we are, out of orders. So, uh, what we do, we're now doing huge amounts of damage. And only Jang Ren is left standing. So I think I better move these archer units out of the firing range. Firing line. Either way, just don't get um, don't get uh, into melee range, regardless of what the phrase is. And there we are, Chang Ren, and we've captured him. Oh, he's the poor leader. Well, I wouldn't execute him as he's the officer. I want to recruit more than anybody else that happens to be in that city, so. All, oh, all systems go. We will attack. Hao Chao's already lost 2,000 troops just walking up to the city. But let's see how much damage he's able to do now. Anyway, now that I have the gold, I did say I would. It's, this is a very suboptimal Sworn Brotherhood, but thematically I like it, so we're going to do it. Hmm. How chow, should I be finding a use for you? No, because you only have ring formation. There we are. And now we watch the city fall.
Hmm. Oh, I didn't pause that. I do apologize. I was uh, silently hiring a lot of officers and rearranging my titles, which is the bit I do mean to cut out. But there we are. Uh, another ministrant officer, and this one with mounting warlord. He could work well with Deng Ai and Deng Chong. Always nice to use the ministrants. I think it depends on what their formations are, so I'll have a look at him in a second. Okay, to discuss what I've managed to change up, we've hired Chang Ren. We have hired Ju Fu, which is a, another ministrant to add to our collection. Slight upgrade to our battle policy, where we've got fish and goose bug, but level 8. Not too much uh, really to talk about beyond that. Still um, quite a bit, quite a distance from level 5. However, at this point, Gan Ning's faction is all but finished. He's got 25,000 troops between two cities. Jiang Xia looks like he could fall at any point. Probably will survive this attack, but won't survive the next one. And Chai Sang isn't doing um, too much better than that. So, the plan, I'm going to finish off Gan Ning in this video. I'm going to get the troops in Yong'an down the mountain back into Jianling and then I'm going to use um, the Jianling army to attack Jiangxia but before I do that one slight improvement for Sima Yi no not Sima Yi um, Sima Yi son Sima Sh no he has a wife okay we need to find a wife hmm Who is going to benefit? Okay, tell you what then. Tell you what then. Guo Huai, congratulations, you are getting a wife. You are getting Wu Lian Shi. Hmm, quite a few female officers. And I think I'll give the other one too, as everyone else seems to be mar married, Deng Ai. So congratulations, you two are getting a wife. You are getting fancy. There goes 20,000 gold, but we've got um, a somewhat of a stockpile. Not quite a substantial one, but there's plenty of gold sitting around now at this point that we can start marrying people off. And I'm not going to um, make the Sworn Brotherhood with Sima Yi this episode. Maybe conquering Ganning will give us some more potential candidates, but I will give it some thought. But other than that, I am going to move these troops down the mountain. We now have a transporter as well, which is brilliant. So, uh, right now, 27,000 should do. Most of our gold as well. And you can go join the main army. And I'll cut back once I'm in the position to deploy. Doing something arguably quite stupid here, but I am going to be sending out an army consisting of Jiang Ren, oh, Jiang Ren Ju Fu, Chukunu, Iron Wall, yeah, Chukunu, uh, Bulan Shi, but largely Yan Liang, Wen Chao, and Yuan Shao. I want to test them out after giving them their sworn brotherhood. But I will give them some reinforcements in the form of... Hmm, I need a snake officer. Maybe not that many troops. Den Chong. So I am going to try and do a little mountain sniping. This still leaves us, well, no, it leaves us with nearly no troops in Jianling at all. But I do have some reinforcements here, so if I send over 15,000 troops, and we do have Sima Yi in the back there, we should be, we should be okay. More diplomacy, two more trades away from the war elephants tactic, which is, I believe, what it gets you. I know this is a silly way of it. Even Jiang Sha's large, that's incredible. I've never seen that before. Usually it doesn't develop because of how um, constantly it's under attack. However, 
How are we doing with Shen Yu? Troubled. I might give you... No, I won't. I have no gold to give you. Never mind. We're doing this the dangerous way. So, gonna march in here. Probably walk into a fire trap. Yuan Shao, when he arrives, can sort of sit behind, and then Chong can do the area sniping. No fire trap so far, which is a change, putting it mildly from what we usually experience. It's looking quite, dare I say, relaxed almost. Oh my God, is that? Mm -hmm. In fact, you two can go together. Go build that fort. But play it safe, just in case there are these fire traps around the corner that I'm still expecting to see. That poor little transport unit trying to get to the so far isolated Jiangxia. Hmm. We can see here we're not massively defensive, but we are defensive enough. Just need to make sure we have the right people overseeing these areas. Such as you. Got that plus 13, that's the effect of the trade delegation in action. Our delegation is back. So yet maneuver, seed and demolish of crane formations are increased, so they are actually more defensive than fish after that upgrade. Not that I'll still be using them. But it's it's um something. So what we do as we've done before. We give them 8,000 gold and tell them, off you go. So to complete the surround and conquer, I actually need this area called E. So I am actually going to send Lu Dai around rather than have Deng Chong do his old mountainous dilly-dally around the mountains. So I may... don't really need you now, unfortunately. But I'll just leave you as is and... See if um, Ganning wants a fight. There goes Sima Yan, unfortunately. Liu Bei. No, not Liu Bei. Ma Tang has finally taken his second city. If we have a quick look at the map now, we can see Sun Tzu has taken the north and is probably my biggest rival. Got a non threatening, well, non 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 threatening, I should say, Gong Sun Du, who's backed up by Guan Yu and Cao Cao. Xia Ho Dun, who's just sort of hanging out in Hang Chong. Wu Bu, who is losing a battle of attrition to Gong Sun Du, I would hesitate to guess. Cao Ri in, wow, uh, in the uh, Chengdu region with a million, a hundred thousand troops, and Sun Jian with fifty thousand troops, who seems to be. In a stalemate with her jin. And Ganning is going to let me surround Jiangxia without a fight. So the next turn, I can march on the city. Got all those buffs, and Wen Chao doesn't even have 1100 defense. That should change now, though. But Yan Liang is incredibly menacing. This is just the difference between goose, sorry, an arrow and fish. That difference in defense is such a huge deal. Not a particularly strong unit there, but. Uh, you can retreat now. And, okay, here we go, march on the city. And he's not even going to try and defend it. All that preparation and... Ooh. There we are. I say, all that preparation and he's just going to let us march into the 
city and fire away with these rams and chuponus that are going to melt it in three turns. Here's turn number two. There's a chance we even burst it in this turn if we get another chain tactic off. Come on, come on, one yang yang one shout. Nope, one one uh, one turn too short. And our starting city, Ling Ling. No, not our starting city. The city in the southwest is now massive. That was Yuan Zhao's starting city. And there falls Jiang Xia. Will anyone join us? Nope, 19 prisoners. Oh, Simo Wang, is he a member of our family? No, not really. Anyone in here who is friendly with us? No, sadly not. Okay, with Jiang Xia secured. Now we will deploy the Wei army, the one we've seen before, with a slightly wounded um, Wulianxi thanks to that city's volley. Anyone else we want to use? To, did you have any useful traits? Forest Ward, no. So. Uh, 8,000. No. So if I get rid of you, can I have 9,000? Can I have 8,000? Yes, we can. Can use against the base provoked. Sure, why not? So simple enough. We attack that, move on, attack that. We've got a unit in the south coming up to snake along and take Nanchang. And Lu Dai, he can move along and take the port. That way we can surround the city from three different sides and have a fairly easy battle. Okay, what have we got going on here? Oh, Ludai, you're too quick for your own good. I don't want to fight this army. Hmm, wonder what have you got? Got any areas I could steal the port? Sadly not. Okay, that is a fairly scary army. So I think I will um, take a step back and wait for the others to catch up. Because you're snaking along here, you can join up, hit the river. These guys are hitting the port soon. As soon as some food has arrived in Jiangxia, I could even send some reinforcements over there. And just to make sure Everyone still has overseers. Yes. We're doing quite well. Oh, are they going to come out into the water? I can probably take them in the, in the water. Not the best odds, but... <laughs> Just because of the number of surrounding areas they have here. Even though with, I have Water Warlord and the superior boat technology, simply can't compete. For now. But this is just a distraction, and that's really all I need. Ah, false information. Where is he sending me? That kind of ruins my plan. As there is no way of breaking out of false information, so I am heading towards certain death. Maybe I can take the port, though. Either way. Either way, we are in a strong position. We've made landing. We take Wu Chang. 
there are only two surrounding areas and one of them we may even take by sheer luck so who would I send out well of course who else am I gonna send out with not a huge amount of food the sworn trio of Yu Yuan Shao, Yan Liang and Wen Shao but I have got food on the way and some gold which would let me buy a little bit more food and I've still got plenty of troops left behind in case Shen Yu decides he'd like to attack us or even potentially Sun Chuan Oh, look at that, it's very painful. Captured. Well, it doesn't matter, he's only got one city left. For now. He's betrayed us. Well. He has made a very silly mistake, in which case, because... Ah, silly mistakes. Um... <laughs> Okay, ignoring that, gap fire. What I was saying before I immolated was that I am going to have him back in my force. Um, well, he won't actually join me because he's considered a traitor and the AI won't let these traitors rejoin you quite quickly. But he is going to be out of employment very soon. May even need to execute him. Okay, uh, burning, 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 there we are, all the fire is now gone. So we can get back in position. After that slight flammable detour. Okay, we've got a final battle. Ooh, oh, we're getting slaughtered. No change. Ah, oh, and he's captured Yang Liang. Hmm. Come on, get onto land. Yeah, that's dangerous terrain to be fighting on. Completely my mistake. Ooh, and there goes one of my fish. I don't think I have anything to replace them with, I do not. So we are going all in with Goose. I hope they do the heavy lifting in this battle. As, but however, I would very much like you to build a camp. Ganning is challenged Wen Chao for a duel. That was very silly. No, it wasn't. Engine 2 strength. Wow. Wow. Was not expecting that. And all three of the brothers are looking to be captured. Yeah. Well, that was a catastrophe. Ganning still has some fight left in him. Who did we lose there? Whew. Hmm. Five. Seven. That'll have to do for now. Speaking of having to do... Make sure I get this right. Okay. So here comes Ganning back for round two. But this is a much more competent army. Sure. They'll be mine in a moment anyway. 
Uh, okay, Ganning is not over yet. He's not going down easily. Not captured at least. Not captured at least. Okay. You move back a bit. See if we can funnel them in here. So he might have to do a little bit of tanking. Aha! Brilliant. So now we just stall. There we go, Sanki, you've done it. Brilliant. Chayan Quinn is, um, well, not quite sure what he's doing there. Guo Huai, though, is taking a tremendous amount of damage. Yeah, I don't really know what he's up to there. But what I do know is the city will fall and will be ours. I think you must have all three of them. Well, there we are. Soon to be rescued. No, don't let him escape. Don't let him escape. He's got our officers. Yep. Feed me gold, Ganning. Feed me gold. And they are returning home. Speaking of returning home, that is very much what Guohua is going to have to do at this point. Do we have enough troops just to finish off the siege? Dang Ice not... Yeah, no, Dang Ice, no synergy of any of the officers at the moment, so... He's not particularly helpful. Unless I send over Den Chong. Hmm. I suppose I might as well. He's in. It doesn't take too long to do so. And there are no more waves of officers coming out of Chai Sang. This is it. The city is surrounded. And... Well, no point sending a snake formation off. Well, maybe there is. We're going to take a huge amount of casualties trying this, as this is, especially as this is a volley city, but there's no point giving them time to recover. So I think we just go for this and hope for the best. There we go, Dengai does have a confusion. Oof, there goes the first volley. But we do have a confusing tactic with uh, Dengai. There you go. Keep giving me gold. And here is our war elephants tactic. So as far as I'm aware, those are ram formation tactics, but stronger. I don't really use them that often, but I would like to try it this campaign, possibly with Yuan Shao or Hao Chao, who have been my standout siege weapon officers. So here comes Den Chong to buff everyone else up further. You can try and set fire to the city. I think this is the turn. We're doing heavy damage. One more volley. And Chai Sang has fallen. Ganning, our main rival of the campaign, has lost. Xu Xu and 50 of our officers have joined me. Does that include Zhu Gu Liang? Does it include quite possibly? I don't see him on the list. One more turn, we can find out quite possibly our biggest upgrade so far. 
So, let's have a quick look. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you, Zhuge Liang? say <sighs> Adalaki, he must have been out on a diplomatic mission that is um, a very disappointing point to leave the episode but it looks like our next target has been identified Juga Leon much like Deng Ai we will be coming for you and then we'll be able to secure this section of the map. Possibly then taking wa taking uh, war to Liu Bei. So our smartest warlord is still Tian Feng. Our specialties. Well, we've got a lot of strength specialties now. Hmm. How frustrating. If I could give that to you and bring you to 94, and then, do you have a plus two title, Jiang Wei? Yes. It's an improvement. And then... Hmm, same effect. Well, we got our fish back, which helps. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to end the episode here. In between these episodes, I will go on a hiring spree, hire all the new officers that are going to be left abandoned in the city. But what progress we have made between the start of this episode and the end. One, two, three, four cities. And we are set to expand out quite rapidly in the next episode. I don't think Zhen Yu has any officers that can withstand us. No, certainly not. So we could even go for Zhen Yu. He's at 95 intelligence. I could get him to 99, I suppose, with my items. Hmm. Or, so I could go for Zhen Yu, or I could go for Ma Teng. Maybe even both. I've got the troops for it. We've got a, a fairly healthy reserve at this point. These troops in Changsha now can be fre you know, freed up and be sent over to Chai Sang. And these troops in Jianling can be freed up and sent over to Xianyang or even Jiangsha. So we are able in the next episode to attack, attack, attack from as many directions as we have the officers for. Excellent. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you in part... Is it be part 6? Part 7? Uh, who knows? In the next episode, regardless, I hope to see you then. Take care.